What's going on YouTube? FJC here back with another X Defiant video and today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be checking out the MDR but I thought I would do a live commentary because I've never really done one on my channel before and I think it'd just be a great format for me to be a little more personable with you guys. But like I said we're going to be using the MDR. They buffed the MDR in the last patch and I do gotta say this thing's amazing man. What I'm personally rocking on it is the barrel extender, chrome lined, leather wrapped, reflex and quick draw rear grip and i find as an m &K player this setup works for me very well but me personally i really like this build before i was using the muzzle booster on it i'm pretty sure it just seemed like there was a little too much recoil so i switched to the barrel extender and it's definitely a lot better like i said i've never really done a live commentary like this before but i really do enjoy watching this format of video so i thought why not try it out myself Usually I'm live streaming X Defiant and pretty much doing the same thing as a live commentary. So I thought, why not try it out in video format? Okay, so we're going to be playing Mayday. I'm going to be honest with you guys, not the biggest fan of Mayday. There are worse maps in the game. Not a huge fan of this map, but we can make it work. Do me a favor, guys. If you do enjoy the content and this style of video, go ahead and hit that like button as well as subscribe down below. Make sure you turn on that bell so you get notified anytime I upload. Make sure you're following all the socials. So in X Defiant, I typically like to play the echelon faction i find that their passive is extremely overpowered in my opinion the fact that you can Dominate. use any weapon I'll and never be shown right. on the radar i think is pretty pretty strong i think half the reason for that is because people in games like this whether it be call of duty or x defiant are so focused on the minimap itself that when you have a class that you know obviously hides you from the minimap it makes it pretty overpowered Look at that. Oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. Eee. But I find this update definitely fixed a lot of things, which I'm really happy about. They desperately needed to fix the, um, was it the, uh, how do I describe it? The faction. Get turned on, brother. Um, was it the faction, the nade glitch, where you would essentially use a skill and it just wouldn't call in the skill, or it would cancel it out and you'd have to press the button about like eight times for the firebomb to come out, for example? They desperately needed to fix that, and I'm very happy that they did because, like, that's a that's a game breaking bug, man. When when a core mechanic in your game is not working uh that's pretty uh game breaking to me but let me know what you guys think of the i guess buffed mdr and as well as the buffed mp5 i haven't really test tested out the mp5 just yet i'm shit uh i haven't tested out the mp5 just yet but i've heard it's pretty good and i definitely think i should if you guys want to see a live commentary with me using the mp5 definitely let me know in the comment section down below i'd be more than willing to do one hello buddy and I get firebombed. Slam dunked. Also got this wonderful sweet skin. Look at this thing. Also, let me know what your favorite gun in X Defiant is to use, guys. Me, personally, I gotta say it's the MP7. Um, MP7 or ACR, as most people are probably gonna have the same, similar or same answer that I do. You know, those guns are just, they're too good, man. Let's be real. Um, that's kind of why they had to go ahead and buff the MDR, because it was so dominant. Like, it was very dominant, very clear that, hey, those weapons are insanely good. I can't believe I just died there. And I'm very happy with the route that they took because they could have gone ahead and completely nerfed the MP7 and ACR to the ground, but instead they went ahead and buffed the weapons. They kind of went the MW2 route where it's, you can't really call anything overpowered per se when everything in the game is kind of strong. So kind of removes that like, oh, this weapon is completely taking over the game. This weapon is complete trash. For a while, it's been like that, but I think now it's going to start changing it for the better. I do got to say though, unfortunately, the PC queue times have been getting slower and I have been playing with input based matchmaking off to minimize that. It just seems like the PC player base is not there anymore. Doesn't seem like as many people on PC want to play this game. And I don't know how I didn't kill, buddy. Oof. Let me ask you a question, guys. Do you personally think that domination in this game goes by very quickly? I say the players play it slow. The points go up very quickly. I just want to know your opinion on that because usually I'm a huge domination fan in uh, like Call of Duty, for example. But in this game, it just it just goes by so quick. Mm, 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 mm. What? 
That was insane. I don't, I just don't understand. Sometimes with this game, I don't understand how I'm not killing these people. I am liking the skin a lot, though. Killer Instinct. If anybody's a Counter-Strike player, this really reminds me of the M4A4 Howl. Similar color scheme. The uh, wolf on the Howl was in the same spot. A lot of resemblance. And I cannot tell you guys how happy I am that they brought back the ability to shoot the spider bot off of your face. Oh my god. Mark Rubin had said that that wasn't intentionally supposed to be in the game. And when I learned that, I was just, I was genuinely surprised because that makes the spider bot so overpowered. If the only way that you could shoot it or remove it was by getting a teammate to shoot it off of your face or letting the time run out, or if you're lucky enough, you shoot it as it's coming up to you. But the other problem with the spider bot is that before it even launches on your face, you can't move. GG's. This character skin for Echelon. Great job. My guy. My guy shouting out the Twitch down here. If anyone got Twitch, drop me a follow. I got you, homie. I'll drop him a follow. I'll drop him a follow. We're all trying to make it. Oh, I love the screen shake. I love the screen shake. I love how much my fucking screen shakes when I get hit by a grenade. Okay. I also find if you don't hit as many headshots with this weapon, sometimes it feels a little spongy. Definitely feels way better than it did previously. Like the gun feels way more usable in terms of uh, when you're going up against like an ACR or an MP7. But it feels like if you don't get at least one headshot with this gun, you're still at like a little bit of a disadvantage. That's not to say the weapon feels bad though, because oh my god. Com Compared to how it felt before, very, very good. Very, very good. And uh, I've been using it nonstop pretty much since the update. Huge fan. Very big fan of what they did with the Intel suit. I myself use the Intel suit a lot. And I did think it was like a little a little overpowered, you know? The, the fact that you could see enemies for so long, uh, I thought it was a little broken. So I'm very happy that they switched it to like, it's like a split second pulse. You see them for a split second. And then it's like, hey, buddy, you're not going to be able to just know where they are. I really like that. Let's see what we can do here. Mm -mm. Not bad. No, no. Like, this just weapon feels so satisfying at longer ranges now. It feels so much better, man. Really? Really? That didn't... Oh, buddy's lost. Buddy is lost. Okay. Can't do much about that. Looks like we're going to catch the dub here, which is great. So once again, guys, do me a favor. Let me know what you think of the uh, buffed MDR in the comment section down below. I'm really a big fan of the change. I thought it was desperately needed. Assault rifles seem too one-sided. Pretty much AK, ACR. That's it. If you didn't use those, you're at a disadvantage. Definitely doesn't feel like that anymore. I mean, the M16 was also in, in conversation to be very, very good. But there's definitely more variety now. You're not going to be seeing as much of those weapons, I'd hope. I'd like to see a lot more of the MDR, and I think it has a, a good place in this game to where it's got a little bit of a faster fire rate. Oh, come on. You got to give me that game. A little bit of a faster fire rate than the ACR. A little less accurate. Packs a decent punch. Okay. I was inside another man. And I killed another man. But anyways, guys, I hope you really did enjoy the video. I plan to make more live commentaries like this. I feel it's a great time and it makes the video a little more personable to you guys. I really did enjoy filming this video and I hope you guys do enjoy the future live commentaries to come. There's always going to be room to improve. So any feedback, definitely leave it down in the comment section down below. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're following my Twitch, my TikTok, and all my socials in the description. We are doing a giveaway at 2,000 followers. 
for advanced GG supplements. We're going to be giving away the shaker cup with three different flavors, sorry, but four sample packs. So I really do hope you guys enjoy that. Make sure you're following my Twitch. At 2,000 followers, we're going to be giving away that sample pack with the shaker cup. I will see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Peace out. Much love.